okay children so let us uh, see how cell padding and cell spacing works so children here i have created a basic table so let us see what is the result of this table so simply i'll say save and i have saved on the desktop so let us see the result of it so here you can see very simple table is coming you can see that it is coming in the tabular form but there is no border no background of the page no background of the table let us enhance its look and you can see by default it is coming at the top left corner so the alignment is left so let us uh, change its uh, appearance okay now i'm going to give as you see with the body i did not use any of the attribute so here first attribute which i am going to use that is bg color so bg color let us see take light green no space between light and green okay so light green now in the table you can see there is no attribute so first thing what what we want we want border border so border let me give of 3 pixels and then i need border color so b o r d r border color is equal to suppose i'll take yellow color now i want the background color of the table so i'll take bg color as i have discussed we all have done these attributes so here i'll take green color dark green color green color gives the dark green color so now i want to align the table also in the center so i'll take align is equal to center now this we have done let us save it and see its result so i'll open this and you as you see the result is coming this way so here you can see children border is coming yellow background of the page is coming light green tables background is coming green and the alignment is center okay now children we are talking about cell spacing and cell padding so what is cell spacing so you children can you see these uh, are the cells which are having some space in between can you see my cursor so this pointer is uh, pointing that the space between two adjacent cells this space this space so the this space by default it is 2 pixel so you can increase according to your choice so let us see and we change the uh, we will use the cell padding and change this pixel okay so let me use the attribute cell spacing cell spacing is equal to now here i am taking 10 pixels now let us see what is the result file save save is must so let me now reload this page so now can you see children the distance which is coming it is of 10 pixels so you can increase the distance of your cells so this uh, this is called cell spacing now let us see what cell padding will do so again i'm minimizing it and opening this now i am taking another attribute cell padding cell padding is equal to here i'll make 10 now save and open it now children can you see the difference here you can see the difference it increases the distance between the cell content 
and the border of the cell means it increase the distance between inside the cell so this is cell padding now you can see here so this is the cell spacing and the space between the cell content and cell border that is called cell padding so i hope children all of you understood kindly practice thank you so much